You chuck it on that one and you chuck it on me Bad boys, bad boys What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Hello guys, welcome back to more Law and Order Legacies, yeah. Let's, we're continuing on from where we left off. Don't want to take too much time. Here we go. Okay, Wang, you remember what we told you, and this ought to go down quick and painless. He's going to kill me, you know, when he finds out I'm working with the police. By that time, he'll be in custody. That is, as long as you play it cool and take your cues from us. Yeah? Ricardo, it's Wang. Hey, what's the matter, man? You sound funny. Cops had me worked up, but they're gone. The cops, they worked me over pretty hard. But you didn't say nothing. No, I held firm. They're gone now. Oh, yes, perfect. They find anything? Oof. Yeah, found your bitch. No I'm kidding. Small people don't repeat what I just said. God dang it, I need to stop swearing and other things. Uh. No. No. <laughs> Those clowns couldn't find a hot dog in a wiener cart. Mm, you sound pretty sure of yourself. What? So what am I supposed to do, man? We got another fight coming Tuesday. You know I can't cancel it. I'm on the hook to Menendez. Five grand, man, and I'm broke. Hold the fight in a new location. Better not hold the fight at the shop. Too risky. You gotta find a new location. Where, man? I don't know nobody with that kind of space. Tell him you do. I do? My cousin Lou runs a body shop in Park Slope. Let me talk to him. See, si, you're a pal, man. Okay, at least we got the important one. Now, Ooh. tell him you'll meet him later. Let's meet up later once everything's squared away. Where? Hmm. Back at your shop. Come on back to the shop. I'm sure the cops won't be coming back. Sounds risky. Hey, fuck you. Good thing. I mean, Somewhere good thing. by Pulaski Bridge, 6 p.m. Uh, that street corner. Over by the bodega and the pharmacy. On 21st by Pulaski Bridge. Around 6? See, si, sounds like a plan. See you there. You're done good, Mr. Huang. We'll take it from here. Oof. Well, I could have done better. Whatever, let's go. Wang, over here. Sorry, Wang is indisposed at the moment. Ricardo Guzman, you are under arrest for the murder of Neil Jensen. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against Did you. Did we catch the guy? Really? Cool. Mr. Guzman doesn't dispute the cockfighting charges. Uh, we're prepared to plead guilty on that one. Está insultando la República Dominica. Let me. Uh, my client is not a murderer, the, Mr. McCoy. Mr. Jensen died as wow. a result of an accident. An accident? He attempted to handle an armed bird, and he lost control of it. Really? Oh, they're gonna play the, the it was his fault, not mine. Unbelievable. Okay. A man gets carved up like a side of beef, Guzman lets him slowly bleed to death, then dumps him on a doorstep and expects to walk away. I checked with the Dominican consulate. And? He's wanted there for drug running and armed robbery. Well, I want him here for murder. Is it possible it really was an accident? Does it matter? Neil Jensen didn't have to die. Guzman had two hours to get help and he callously stood by. Murder two, depraved indifference. Okay, murder two it is, let's go. We gotta win. Focus. Guess his clients are a clean answer. Mr. Guzman, when did you first meet Neil Jensen? Maybe uh, a year ago, I guess. Who initiated the relationship? 
You or him? He did. I didn't want to have no part of him, man. Not at first. What I do, I gotta be careful who I let in. Uh, can bring trouble, you know? Especially a white guy. Mr. Wow, Jensen came to you with an offer, is that <laughs> right? Yeah, he had a bird and he, uh, said, is that right? he wanted me to help him raise it and fight it. And at first you said no? That's right. Oof. He said, is that right a second ago? I'm going to go What no. convinced you Fuck. to take Neil Jensen under your wing, as it were, I mean, in spite it. of your suspicions? He knew cockfighting ain't how they make it out to be, you know? It's a more civilized practice than people realize, you mean. Yes, that's definitely leading. Objection, leading. Sustained. Strike that. What sort of sentiments did Mr. Jensen express to you? Well, like, cocking's a real sport. It takes dedication and discipline. And you know, it can teach you a lot about life if you let it. So you agreed to keep the bird and help him raise it? See, si, together we raised El Jefe, and together we conditioned him to fight. He was a good bird. Vacation. Present and present as evidence. Why don't you tell us, in your own words, what happened on the night of Tuesday, May 5th? Well, Neil come in that night really keyed up, man, like super keyed up. He was jumping all around. I think maybe he was on something. I think, yes. Assuming, uh, I don't know that speculation. I object! Assuming facts not in evidence. I don't see how that objection applies here. What? Overruled. Go on. Well, he was excited, you know, because El Jefe was finally gonna fight. There were some other birds up first, but he couldn't sit and watch, man, pacing around, pacing around, till his turn finally came. Okay, I tell him. I'm the handler. I'm experienced at this stuff. Let me do it. Get the bird into the ring. The pit, yeah. It could be dangerous, you know, especially with the long heel. A long blade attached to the rooster's spur. Right, but Neil wouldn't hear nothing I was saying, man. Being he was a rider, he had to do everything himself. Dude, I'm totally well, gonna lose this. Anyway, he's yelling about how nah. he had to be the one to handle El Jefe. I told him don't. I ordered him even, but he really got in my face about it, man, so I had to back down. Then he went for the rooster, like he was going for a football or something. Grabbed it around the neck. You understand, this is a bird was being conditioned to fight. The bird goes crazy. It it, it attacked oh. Neil Jensen. Naturally, you were horrified. Ah, yes. That is leading. Objection. Leading. Sustained. How did you feel? Horrified, naturally. As your person will describe Neil's wounds, statements that will require medical training to back up. I made a grab for the bird and got it. Putting yourself in considerable danger in the process, I imagine. Yes. Asked and answered. Objection. Asked and answered. Are we listening Fuck. to the same testimony? Overruled. God damn. By the time I'm I got the so rooster under control, it's, it's really the damage was sleepy. done. I see. Okay. So what then? Percent. What did you do okay. for him? I wrap a blanket around him to try to stop the bleeding, you know? Did you think to take him to the hospital? Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to do, but he told me not to. He wanted me to take him home. Mr. Jensen asked you to take him home. Mm-hmm. His wounds, I mean, he was cut up pretty bad, but not so bad as all that. He should have pulled through, no problem. Yes. Assuming no expert Objection. knowledge. Objection. No expert knowledge. Okay, Considering the outcome, I think we can conclude that Mr. Guzman's assessment of the situation is off. Sustained. Facts only, Mr. Guzman. You swore on the Bible you'd tell the truth, Mr. Guzman. I'm telling the truth. I, I panicked maybe. You would have done the same. But I did Why what did Neil they swear asked on the me Bible? to do. Not what I thought other would save his life. Of awesomeness. Your witness, Mr. McCoy. That's what I don't get. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I noticed. 
Alright, we're not gonna replay these scenes because that's Mr. Guzman. <laughs> I mean bull crap. The incident in question occurred on the night of May 5th. That's right. Maybe 145. 145. And you say you acted to save him? Of course I acted. I, I tried to help him right there, and when I, when I couldn't help him, I took him home. Like he asked me to. Is this consistent with the time of death? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, no. Yes, oh my god. Uh, the two hour gap between wound and. Yeah, this. I suppose. Yeah, that's I did pause the elimination on that one. I wasn't actually sure. But, but there's like the a problem here. The 911 call is time stamped 403. Two hours after the incident, Mr. Guzman. Under the circumstances, it's fair to ask. Couldn't your response have been a little more prompt? Hijos de puta mentirosos. Wow. I'm sorry, Mr. Guzman. He, it's a mistake. He said someone's not telling the truth. Liars. Are you suggesting 911 got the time wrong? Or somebody? Or somebody. Hold up. The wife? Nuh uh. Nuh uh. You're a native of the Dominican Republic? Yeah, that's right. And proud of it, man. It's a great country. No dispute. But you can't go back, can you? Because you're wanted for certain crimes? Objection. Criminal history irrelevant for establishing propensity. This is true. It's certainly reasonable, Your Honor, to suppose Mr. Guzman's record of armed robbery might. Sustained. Unless the defendant has been convicted of murder. He has not. The jury is instructed to disregard Mr. McCoy's remarks. Ouch. Okay, come on. Mr. Jensen's wounds were awfully I deep. This. There must have been quite a lot of blood. See, si. yeah, there was. I hope you don't get faint at the sight of blood, Mr. Guzman. Psh, no. No, I guess you wouldn't. I guess you're pretty used to it. Cockfights can get pretty bloody, I expect. Yeah, sure they do. Dang. In fact, I suppose that that's part of the girl? fun. Objection! Sustained. Ouch! You knew Why? it was dangerous for Neil Jensen to handle his own rooster. Sure it was dangerous. When those birds are ready to fight, man, they're ready to fight. Then why didn't you stop him? I, I tried, man, but like I said, he wouldn't take no for an answer. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he said that exact same thing. Wait, what? That one? Cool, yeah. Chill. New topics have been revealed. Mr. Guzman, you took Mr. Jensen into your confidence, initiated him into your illegal activities. Knowing your new disciple was a writer, didn't you worry that he'd give the game away, expose your ring, and force you to shut down operations? Well, sure I was worried, but he promised me he'd keep quiet. And he wouldn't write anything neither, unless I okayed it first. And you trusted him? Yeah, he respected me, man. Yes. Yeah, boom. Ooh, ooh! I don't think that one. I don't think that one. Um. No, God dang it! No. Uh, Let's get back to those final what? moments, shall we? What? Minus Maybe twenty. Maybe this time we can get the facts straight. Oh. You drove Neil Jensen home, like he asked me to. I'm such a failure. And you dropped him off at the door. What time was that? Four o'clock? More like two. 
Did you stay with him till he was safely inside? Mm, no. No. You dumped him there and took off. Why, Mr. Guzman? I heard a baby crying as I was coming up to walk with Neil, and I saw a light turn on, so I knew she was up. I, I was sure she was going to come down and get Neil. Yes? But I didn't want to have to be there and explain it all to her, you know? No, I expect you didn't. No further questions. We're so screwed. We're so screwed. The fence is gonna wreck us. Oh my god. Want to take this one, Abby? The people call Ellie Jensen to the witness stand. Okay. Mr. Guzman has testified that at the time he dropped Neil Jensen on your doorstep, he judged that the victim's wounds weren't life-threatening, that he could have been saved with proper care. What's your opinion? Objection! No expert knowledge. Objection sustained. Bitch. That Mrs. Jensen, tell us how you discovered your husband on the night in question. Well, I uh, heard a sort of a thunk coming from outside the front door. Did it wake you up? No. No, it wasn't loud enough for that, but luckily I was awake. Noah, my baby, had just waked me for his usual feeding. That at least conforms to Mr. Guzman's testimony. What condition was your husband in when you found him? He was... It was... Horrible. He was covered in blood and... He had this look in his eyes like... He knew he was dying. I kept saying, who did this to you? Who did this to you? But all he could do was move his mouth. I think he was saying, I'm sorry. And there was nobody with him? Nobody. He was all alone. Now this is crucial. Mrs. Jensen, what time did you discover your husband? Just before 4 a.m. You're absolutely sure? Yes. I glanced at the clock when my baby cried at five minutes, too. He always wakes up at the same time. Thank you, Mrs. Jensen. Jesus. So you finally come around, Whiskey. eh, Harlan? If that's the way you want to look at it, Jack. Great. What are you looking for? No jail time. Mr. Guzman pays a fine and does 12 months probation. Come on, he killed a man. Actually, a rooster killed a man. He sat idly by for two hours and let an innocent man bleed to death. Man one, he served seven to fifteen years plus a twenty-five hundred dollar fine for cockfighting. How about it, Mr. Guzman? Why would we agree to that? We'll see you in court, Jack. I think I, I think I screwed up somewhere. Ricardo Why am I Guzman so bad? will never win any good citizenship awards. He's a devotee of cockfighting, win. a I, sport I, I, which many, no doubt, many of you here in the jury consider barbaric and inhumane. But it's important to appreciate that the defendant is the product of another culture. We mustn't let cultural differences blind us to his essential humanity. Black Consider Mr. Guzman's card. relationship with the culture deceased. Card. Almost he card. agreed to act as Mr. Jensen's mentor, not for money, but through mutual love of the sport. For many months, he patiently worked with him and trained with him. He became Mr. Jensen's mentor and his friend. And when the accident occurred, Mr. Guzman reacted as a friend would react, with care and concern. Perhaps he made the wrong decision in taking the injured man home. Perhaps you or I would have gone straight to the hospital. But remember, Mr. Guzman is an immigrant, an outsider, with an outsider's suspicion of big institutions. My client has lost a friend, I totally perhaps lost as the result of his own mistake. Own failure. And for that, he will suffer for the rest of his life. Yeah. But, does he deserve to go to jail? Good people of the jury, I beg you, let's not compound one error with another! We totally win.
Oh my god. Two okay. hours. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Two hours. Two hours between the time Neil Jensen was stabbed, stabbed repeatedly, and the time the accused saw fit to do something about it. Two hours of agony, of Mr. Jensen bleeding, losing strength, crying for help, for mercy. Wonder but there was no here. mercy, not from Ricardo Guzman. Oh, she sides with me. She's on my side. The accused has shown no remorse for his role in organizing and promoting cockfights. He takes pride in the sport. But what sort of sport is it that arms innocent birds with knives? That goads them into slashing one another, merely to satisfy the bloodlust of the onlookers. It's ironic, savagely ironic, that Neil Jensen's curiosity about cockfighting led him, finally, to receive a mortal wound in the very pit that had seen so much death. We can deplore the practice and the people who engage in it, mm -hmm. but we shouldn't be surprised when it leads to outcomes such as this. Hallelujah, brother. The accused knew Neil Jensen mm -hmm. well enough to understand the limits of their trust. If the victim had survived the attack, there would <sighs> have been questions yep, very the many. story would have come out guzman's illegal operation would have been exposed he would have faced prosecution or loss of livelihood at the very least he had a lot to lose and a lot to gain by doing nothing the legal community has the phrase true. for this behavior everybody's on my side now but I, I had a lot less points than they did so i mean None of us was in the slaughterhouse I gave with Ricardo Guzman points. I'm all and like, Neil here, Jensen. Have, None of have us knows points. exactly what was going Look under on your chair. the mind of the accused you get a point. as he watched his co you get a point. writhe on the Everybody floor. Everybody but this We may never know points. exactly why he stood and, you know, and waited. I'm like, I'm like and Oprah waited. for one half of the field. But we aren't being asked to judge Mr. Guzman's room. motivations. Oh my God. We're being asked to judge his acts. Or in this case, his failure to act. And in this case, I think you'll agree. Inaction speaks mm. louder than words. They As totally the jury come won. to a verdict, we they have, totally Your Honor, won. in the charge of murder in the second degree, how do you find? We find the defendant, Innocent. Ricardo Guzman, not guilty. That's what I thought. Fuck. They beat us. I can't believe they beat us. God damn it. Next time, we wear the longer knives. How about we grab lunch? You still on that diet? Nope, ditch the health food and uh, <laughs> Julia. Right on schedule. And I feel great. Any preferences? Nope, I'm up for anything except chicken. For some reason, that doesn't appeal to me today. Uh, I lost it, guys. I'm. Uh, I lost it. I could have done better. I didn't. I should have paid more attention. Oh my god. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will do better next time. Pay more attention. And do everything so much better. It's a mistake to play this game at night. I'll tell you guys right now. Because you get tired and you don't look, look at all the facts and crap. So next time I'll make sure not to play it at night. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you get the chance. It really helps out a lot. And I would really appreciate it. So please go ahead hit that like button if you're already subscribed and if you're not subscribed hit that like button and then hit the subscribe button if you want to see more because I'm going to be recording as a lot more. I'm going to be recording a lot more just trust me. Anyways is that all? I think that's all yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this is Boss Bane signing off. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <sighs>